Marcel and I'm an interior designer for Interdeco. Um, I was born in Durban um, and I, where I attended a local high school. Um, so I'm a true Durbanite by heart. I've always been very lucky to have a talented and creative family um, with a wonderful group of friends, also very creative. Um, and Durban being such a vibrant and bohemian place to live has really inspired me um, and my creative output. I wanted to be a teacher, but I think I got more excited about having a pretty classroom than actually teaching anyone anything. So from a young age, I was always fascinated by um, building blocks and putting things together and then visualizing the final outcome. So I always knew that I wanted to be involved with houses. People assume that being a decorator is as easy as putting pretty fabrics together and choosing colors to paint a wall. But the truth is, is that there's actually a fine line between being a professional interior designer and just having a good eye for design. Every thought process starts on a piece of paper where it then grows into a fantastic concept. And the trick is to actually tell someone that you don't know that it is good. So not only can we call ourselves decorators, but I think lifestyle designers as well. There will certainly always be a market for interior design. Um, as human beings, I think we are all drawn to that what appeals to us most. And more people are upgrading from smaller homes to larger homes, trying to reflect their own individual style and individuality. Detail, I think, um, from everything from the trimming on a lampshade to the piping on a scatter cushion, small details like that should not be obvious, but should be right. And then, of course, I think scale and proportion, as they both relate to size and shape, and then color, which, of course, enhances the atmosphere of a room. You can go far in this industry if you have a good clientele often consisting of people that come back after a number of years and then you're more than likely to survive forever. I found that people like consistency and always ask the same questions, but as an interior designer it's important to express individuality to each client as an individual. I don't think finding inspiration is all that hard. Um, when I see a beautiful new range of fabrics or I see a beautiful furniture item, I already in my mind start putting a scheme together not even thinking if the client might like it, but just because I like it. I love to look at interior books and magazines and often finding ideas at places that I visit, thinking how I would do it my way. Each project starts with the briefing of a client, um, basically where we get to know one another. And then we go back to the office and we put, a, put aside a few things that we um, would like to use as a concept and then we present, and on approval, the manufacturing starts. A project can take anywhere from about two to four months, depending on the size of the project. And once everything in the quotation is ready for delivery, we spend time putting it all together and then hand over on the completion. I'm very fortunate to have been involved with projects not only locally, but also overseas. Um, and some of the highlights being working with clients in America, England, Israel, and recently finalizing a job in the Seychelles. The right college is very important because it gives you the good grounding that you need to start off with. Because without the good grounding, later on, I think you'll tumble and fall. Style Design College not only teach interior design, but also encourage each individual to nurture their own flair and creativity. They also taught me the practical skills that's necessary to translate those design ideas into reality. Students trying to kickstart their careers should really try and get jobs, um, even as volunteers, because experience does enhance you as a person and will look good on your CV. To be an interior designer is to be full of creativity and artistic vision. However, you must be able to clearly relate your ideas to others. So always remember that you're only as good as your last job, and no matter how small, make it count.